Once upon a time, there was a young man named Ethan who had a wild mind. His thoughts were like a chariot pulled by four powerful horses, fear, anger, laziness, and pleasure. These horses were always pulling Ethan in different directions, making it hard for him to control his thoughts and actions. Fear was a constant companion, whispering doubts and worries into Ethan's ears. It made him hesitate before taking risks and prevented him from pursuing his dreams. Anger was a fiery beast, quick to flare up in response to frustration or injustice. It led Ethan to lash out at others and make impulsive decisions he later regretted. Lazarus was a heavy weight, dragging Ethan down into a pit of complacency. It made him procrastinate on important tasks and settle for mediocrity. Pleasure was a seductive temptress, constantly enticing Ethan with the promise of instant gratification. It led him to indulge in unhealthy habits and avoid difficult but rewarding endeavors. Ethan's chariot was a chaotic mess, with the four horses pulling it in different directions, making him feel like he was losing control of his own life. He yearned for a way to tame these wild steeds and steer his chariot in the direction he desired. One day, while wandering through a bustling marketplace, Ethan stumbled upon an old bookstore tucked away in a quiet corner. Drawn by an inexplicable curiosity, he stepped inside, the scent of old paper and leather filling his senses. As he browsed through the labyrinth of shelves, his eyes fell upon a weathered tome titled, The Art of Self-Mastery. Intrigued by its title, he eagerly purchased the book, its worn pages promising to guide him towards a calmer, more controlled mind. Ethan devoured the book, immersing himself in its wisdom and practical advice. He learned about mindfulness, the practice of focusing on the present moment without judgment, and meditation, a technique for calming the mind and cultivating inner peace. He discovered the importance of self-discipline, the ability to control one's impulses and actions in pursuit of long-term goals. Armed with these newfound insights, Ethan began to apply the principles of the book to his own life. He started by practicing mindfulness, taking time each day to observe his thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them. He learned to identify the triggers that caused his emotions to flare up and develop strategies for managing them. He also set goals for himself, breaking them down into smaller, more manageable steps, and practiced self-discipline to achieve them. Gradually, Ethan began to notice a remarkable change within himself. The four horses were still present, but they were no longer pulling him in different directions. He had learned to ride his chariot with a steady hand, guiding it towards his goals. Fear no longer held him back. He learned to face his fears head on, understanding that they were just thoughts that could be managed. Instead of running away from his fears, he faced them bravely, realizing that they often served as stepping stones to personal growth. Anger no longer consumed him. He learned to express his emotions in a healthy way without lashing out at others. Instead of letting anger cloud his judgment, he took a deep breath and gave himself time to calm down before responding calmly and assertively. Laziness no longer weighed him down. He developed the discipline to work hard and pursue his dreams. Instead of procrastinating and making excuses, he set daily goals and worked consistently towards achieving them. Pleasure no longer controlled him. He learned to balance pleasure with purpose, seeking out experiences that enriched his life. Instead of indulging in fleeting pleasures that left him feeling empty, he sought out meaningful experiences that brought him joy and fulfillment. Ethan had finally learned to control his mind. He was no longer a slave to his thoughts and emotions. He was the master of his own chariot, steering his life towards happiness, fulfillment, and success. His journey had been challenging, but the rewards were immeasurable. He had found peace within himself, and his life had become a tapestry of purpose, joy, and achievement.